Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in today's video I want to talk to you about a new plugin for Capture One that addresses one of the shortcomings of the application. So one of the features not available in Capture One and it's the one that people ask about the most is the ability to merge HDR images. And while there are third party options for merging HDR images into a HDR file if you don't want to use uh, Photoshop or Lightroom um, and these applications are for example, Aurora HDR and Photomatics, none of these integrate particularly well with Capture One. That is until now. Uh, HDR Soft, which is the company that makes Photomatics, have released a beta version which has a Capture One plugin. So this will allow you to merge images from Capture One and it will re-import the finished file back into Capture One once you've created your HDR. So this plugin will come with Photomatics 6.2 and it's currently in a public beta. So I have downloaded the beta to give it a try and uh, let me show you how it works. So just before I start, just to point out that I'm not gonna go fully into using Photomatics. This is really more about the process of working with Capture One. Um, and also the, f the images that I have here, they're nothing special. I just <laughs> went through my library and found the first HDR brackets that I could find just so I could demonstrate this. So uh, without any further ado, let me just show you. So basically the first thing you do is in Capture One, you select your images that you want to merge. So here is three bracketed files. And then all you have to do is you can either right click on the images and go edit with merge HDR to Photomatics Pro, or you can also get this from the image menu. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, and then it gives you the options. So I'm gonna select TIFF 16-bit. Um, and then everything else is, you don't really need to do anything else here. So we're gonna ignore all that and just use TIFF 16-bit and then go edit variants. So this is going to fire up Photomatics. If you just give it a second. Okay, now I'm just using the trial version of this. Uh, as I said, it's a public beta at the moment. Um, if you have a Photomatics license, uh, you'll be able to use the full version with, and without any limitations, but I'm just using the trial. So this will actually watermark it. But again, I'm just demonstrating the process here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna turn on Align Source Images. And if I go into Align Settings, uh, I think everything here is fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna hit Align and show deghosting. Okay, so this brings up our options and we can set it to automatic deghosting and we'll put this up to medium because we want to get rid of the, there's some people moving in the scene, so maybe a bit strong. Okay, and I just hit okay. So this is now going through the process of merging. Okay, so now it has merged the HDR and it's just applied whatever the last settings that I had on it uh, were. So um, this is actually pretty good, uh, mainly because I was testing this and I've already set it the way I wanted it. Um, but yeah, so you can play around with different things um, and change some of the settings. And there's lots of presets down the side here as well. Uh, I'll just play with this just a bit more just so that we're actually doing something. Um, and then I can go show original. So that's how we started. Anyway, as I said at the start of this video, this isn't really about making the best HDR image. I'm, I'm more just trying to show you the process here. So the next thing we want to do is now that we've merged our HDR file and you can pretend that I've made this wonderful and done lots of tweaking, um, so we just go to hit finish. So this will bring up the finishing interface. So this allows you to make just a few more um, tweaks. Okay, so this, now we can do things like we can adjust highlights and so on. It just allows you to do a bit more tweaking. So you've got like your little curve editor here. So you can do things like this and then we can do sharpening and then if we need to straighten, we can do that as well. So once once we have everything finished the way we want it, all you have to do is hit save and re-import. And this has now brought it back into Capture One. And there you have it. There is a how to merge HDR files in Capture One with the new Photomatics plugin. So this isn't out fully yet. Uh, there is a public beta available and I will have a link in the description below and you can actually download and try it yourself now. So it's not perfect. Uh, it doesn't 
if you're used to Lightroom's way of working, where you get a DNG file that you can still manipulate, um, you're not going to get that. You will get back a TIFF file that is pretty much tone mapped and flattened. Um, but it does allow you to do HDR images directly from Capture One without having to do any manual round tripping. So you don't have to export files and then re-import them all manually as you would if you wanted to use, say, Aurora HDR or something like that, or even Photomatics before this came out. So it is definitely useful, and it does plug one of the holes in Capture One's workflow. So, as I said, it's a public beta. It's available now, and uh, I'll have a link in the description below. So by all means, try it out if you're using Capture One and you're looking for a way to merge HDR images. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. This has just been a short, quick video. I just wanted to show this to you. So if you found this useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can check out my Patreon page and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.